The Dragon Once upon a time, there were two best friends, a boy named Jack and a girl named Lily. They lived in a small village at the edge of Great Forest, and they loved to go on adventures together. One day, as they were exploring the forest, they stumbled upon a dragon. The dragon was huge and had scales as green as the leaves of the trees. He was breathing fire and he looked like he was guarding a treasure. Wow, said Jack. Look at that dragon. Do you think hell let us see the treasure? Lily nodded. Let's go ask him. The two friends approached the dragon and said, Excuse us, Mr. Dragon. We were wondering if we could see the treasure you're guarding. The dragon looked down at the two kids and said, what makes you think I'm guarding a treasure? Well, said Jack, we saw the fire coming from this direction, and we thought maybe you were keeping something valuable safe. The dragon smiled. As a matter of fact, I am guarding a treasure. But it's not just any old treasure. It's a magic treasure that can grant wishes. Really? said Lily. What kind of wishes? Any kind of wish you can imagine said the dragon. But first, you have to prove yourselves worthy of the treasure. How do we do that? asked Jack. Simple, said the dragon. You have to complete a quest for me. A quest, said Lily. What kind of quest? I need you to retrieve a magical feather from the highest peak in the sky, said the dragon. It's a journey that will test your bravery and determination. Jack and Lily looked at each other, their eyes shining with excitement. We'll do it, they said in unison. The dragon gave them a smile. Good. I'll give you a ride to the top. Hop on. And with that, the dragon spread his huge green wings, and Jack and Lily climbed onto his back. The dragon took off into the sky, and they soared higher and higher until they were flying among the clouds. This is amazing, said Lily. I've never flown on a dragon before. Me neither, said Jack. But we have to focus on our quest. We have to find that feather. They searched the highest peaks and valleys of the sky, but they couldn't find the feather. Just when they were about to give up, they spotted a glittering object in the distance. They flew closer and closer, and they saw that it was the feather. We did it, said Lily. We found the feather. But we're not done yet, said Jack. We still have to bring it back to the dragon. They carefully picked up the feather and made their way back to the dragon. When they presented the feather to the dragon, he was amazed. You did it, he said. You completed the quest. I'm proud of you both. The dragon took the feather and added it to the treasure, which began to glow with a brilliant light. What's happening? asked Lily. The treasure is granting your wish, said the dragon. What do you wish for? Jack and Lily looked at each other and said, We wish we could fly forever. And with that, the dragon touched the treasure with his tail and a burst of magic surrounded Jack and Lily, lifting them off the ground and into the sky. Whoa! exclaimed Jack as he felt the wind rushing through his hair. This is amazing! Lily cried, her eyes wide with wonder. The dragon spread his wings and took to the air, flying alongside Jack and Lily. Together, they soared through the clouds, feeling the freedom of flight. They explored the sky, discovering new wonders and meeting other creatures along the way. One day, they came upon a group of dragons who were being chased by a band of trolls. The trolls were after the dragon's treasure, but the dragons were too small and weak to defend themselves. 
We have to help them, Lily said to Jack. But how? asked Jack. The dragon flying with them looked at Jack and Lily, a smile spreading across his face. Use your magic, he said. And with that, Jack and Lily spread their arms and called forth the magic within them. They summoned bolts of lightning, and with a flick of their wrists, they sent the trolls running. The dragons cheered, and Jack and Lily were hailed as heroes. From that day on, Jack and Lily continued to fly, and have adventures in the sky. They met new friends, and helped those in need, always spreading kindness and joy wherever they went. And when they were tired, they would return to the dragon's treasure, where they would lay down and dream of all the adventures they would have tomorrow. And so, they lived happily ever after, soaring through the skies and feeling the magic of flight in their hearts.